Hello students, in this video we'll discuss curvature of a curve that's embedded in a surface. Given a surface S, parameterized by R of U and V, consider a unit speed curve, consider a unit speed curve, gamma of S, which is going to be R of U of S, V of S, like that. Okay, so this curve is unit speed and it's on the surface, right? So we'll say S between two fixed points, right? So A less than or equal to S less than or equal to B, for example. Now, what sort of situation do we have over here? So we really have a situation where we have some surface. Like that. Some rulings. There's my surface. And then on the surface, there is a curve, right? That's my curve gamma of s. Okay. And now what do I know if I compute gamma? So at a particular point over here, if I compute gamma prime, so gamma prime looks like this, or else like gamma dot. So gamma, uh, gamma dot is a tangent vector. That's my t hat of s, right? And this is perpendicular to the normal vector, right? So we know that gamma dot of s is perpendicular to n hat, which is the unit normal of the plane, right? Which is going to be r u cross r v like that right over the length of r u cross r v okay so it's perpendicular to that so i have two vectors that are perpendicular and if i cross these vectors i get a third vector which is also perpendicular to the resulting two so now what i can do is i can consider this frame so we have an orthonormal basis orthonormal which consists of gamma dot of n hat. Those are perpendicular to each other unit vectors. And then I can consider this unit vector, which is just going to be n hat cross gamma dot like that. Okay. And so what I can do now is I can expand the second derivative the, in this basis over here, right? And since the second derivative is perpendicular to this, we know that gamma dot dot product gamma double dot is equal to zero, right? Because it's a unit vector. Good. All right, so now we can say, therefore, that gamma double dot of s is some number times this n hat. But I'm going to call it number kn of s n hat plus some other number. I'm going to call that kg of s and then in the direction of n hat cross this thing over here, right? So if we were to try to configure this, what are we going to have over here? So if we look at our configuration, we really have the following. So here's n hat. There's n hat right over there. And if I do um, n hat, put my right hand over there, n hat cross gamma, that's going to be that, go out this way. That's going to be my n hat cross gamma dot over there. And so now the second derivative is not, is, is parallel to this, so it has to be in these directions over here. So the second derivative has to lie somewhere over here, right? So my second derivative looks like this. That's our gamma double dot over there, okay? Our second derivative. Excellent. Okay, and so now what's one immediate consequence of this? If I take the norm squared of this, so let's do the norm squared. So the norm squared of gamma double dot, by definition, is what? By definition, is the curvature squared. So this is the curvature squared. But by the Pythagorean theorem, I do the double, I do the norm of this thing squared. These things are perpendicular to each other, so I can use the Pythagorean theorem to conclude that the curvature, which depends on S, of course, is this normal curvature squared of S plus this, what well, I'm going to call geodesic curvature squared of S, right? So let's write those things, what these things are called, right? So here, Kn is the normal curvature. And this Ks is the geodesic curvature. Okay, so I have normal and geodesic curvature, right? In particular, we see that if the normal, if the if these curvatures vanish, that forces the the curve to be planar, right? Okay. Now we can connect this uh, normal curvature with the second fundamental form, right? So let's do that. So recall, recall that the second fundamental form two is R u u dot n hat d 
du squared plus r, two of them, uv du dv, that n hat, of course, du dv, plus rvv dot n hat dv squared. That's the second fundamental form. So let's do RU. So what's gamma double dot going to be? So gamma double dot, what's gamma dot going to be first of all? So gamma dot is going to be partial R, partial R, partial U, du dt. Plus partial R, partial V, dv dt. And so now, what's the second derivative going to be? The second derivative, gamma double dot, over here, gamma double dot. Well, I can do two u derivatives, so I got to do the chain rule, right? So I have to do partial squared r partial u squared times u partial u dt quantity squared, right? Plus partial squared r partial u partial v. And then du dt, I'm going to write just u dot and v dot over here to save myself a little bit of time in writing. And then plus what? Plus partial r, partial u, and then u double dot, u double dot. And then similarly, we have the other terms over here, right? Now I got to do these derivatives over here, so I'm going to have the exact same terms over here. And so what will we get? We'll get a partial squared r, partial v squared, uh, v dot squared plus partial squared r partial u partial v, u dot v dot. And then finally, we'll have a what? And then finally, we'll have a partial r partial uh, v, and then v double dot, okay? Now, if we were to take this and dot this with n, right, that will give me my kn of s, right? So kn of s is gamma double dot dot with n hat. So I'm just going to, if I dot this expression over here with n hat, we're going to see exactly what we're going to get, right? So if we dot this expression with n hat, what terms cancel out? This term over here and this term over here cancel out because we know that um, r, u, and r, b in their tangent space and they're perpendicular to n, right? And so the terms that are left over are going to be what? The terms that are left over are going to be r, u, u, dot n. Oh, that's this thing over here. r, u, u, dot n. So this is going to be r, u, u, dot n r u u dot n and then u u dot squared u dot squared then we have this term over here and this term over here that's going to give me what that's going to give me two r u v dot n hat uh then u dot then u dot v dot u dot v dot and then finally we'll have an r v v dot n and then v dot quantity squared in other words, this normal curvature over here, we just proven that the normal curvature is the second fundamental form evaluated at u dot and v dot, right? So this gives me the relationship between normal curvature and the second fundamental form. Thank you very much.